Bamako resistance notes September 15, 2022 due to its heavy losses of ground troops, the junta is changing tactics. It is relying more on air power, landing troops for surprise attacks with helicopters, and bombing areas with jets before ground assaults. All available aircraft are now being used more or less constantly. For the remaining ground troops, they are dressing as PDFs in civilian clothing and riding in private cars. The junta is focusing attacks on civilians due to its losses against ethnic armies and PDFs. Ethnic regions in Kareni area, junta troops are renewing their assault on Mobi town, two days after retreating with heavy losses from a near encirclement by Kareni defense forces. They marched up the railway tracks and are firing mortar barrages at the town. In Kachin state, the junta's personnel shortage has left it without enough troops to guard its camp in Mogang township, so it is resorting to forced recruitment of villagers to stand guard. A male from each household is required to spend nine hours per day on guard duty, or a woman if no man is available. There is no pay. The slavery system is also used to make villagers dig trenches for the army. In Kothule Clay LWI 2 district Kyaukgi Township on Burmese maps, the junta has carried out airstrikes by Russian supplied jets and helicopters on civilian targets for the past two days. Fighting occurs daily in Clay LWI 2 between the junta and Karen Army Brigade 3. Due to junta violence, over 17,500 civilians are living rough in the bush and are in need of humanitarian supplies. In the junta-occupied Karen state capital HPAN, a drone flew over a junta camp in town on September 13, so the troops shot at it and then kidnapped two nearby civilians. A bomb exploded at the night market along the Salween River waterfront. Residents report insecurity due to frequent shooting and explosions. In Kothule Bait Tavoy District Tananthari region on Burmese maps junta troops in Dawei Township released the 100 hostages they had kidnapped in Bawapan village yesterday, but then ransacked and looted items from homes, burned a refugee camp, and shot the guns randomly in all directions. Residents complained that the troops tore their houses completely apart. The troops threatened to return and burn the village and kill people if anyone shared pictures of the destruction. In southern Shan state, the junta proxy militia PNO, made up of co-opted ethnic Paro lackeys, captured five members of the legitimate Paro resistance militia and summarily killed them in junta fashion yesterday. Junta scorched earth village terrorism campaign after a PDF killed two junta police on a road in Monowa township of Zagaring region three days ago, troops yesterday attacked and burned three large civilian villages near the road, sending 10,000 people fleeing as refugees. Kyungyi, Natgikyun, and Gosu villages are affected. Junta troops have been systematically invading and burning villages in Gangor township of Magwe region and abducting villages as hostages and human shields. This has been going on since late August but intensified during the past week. People's Defense Forces PDFs. In Zagaring region, 13 specialized commandos from a PDF in Pali township ambushed junta troops yesterday, killing five of them. In Myaing Township a drone bombing PDF attacked oil barges in the Irrawaddy River heading toward Mandalay, killing two troops aboard one of them yesterday. In Yinmapan Township there was a gunfight yesterday in which four junta troops were seriously wounded and two PDF soldiers were killed. In Magwe region, a PDF laid landmines in front of a junta column advancing to attack villages on Yele Island in Yesigyo Township yesterday, killing eight troops and wounding others. In Myaing Township a PDF opened fire on a junta police patrol, killing one and seriously wounding one, the others ran away. The PDF captured the dead officer's weapon and ammunition. Also in Myaing Township yesterday, a PDF fired locally made 80mm and 100mm mortars at junta Paiu Saw Hati terrorist camp at the Reckon village, killing two operatives. In Kyaukyat in Myaing Township, the number of junta police has recently increased, followed by an increase in burglaries, especially close to the police barracks. Local junta administrators were assassinated yesterday in Pound Township of Bago Region, Kunchangon Township of Yangon Region and Yeje Township of Irrawaddy Region, and another was killed in Palor Township of Kothule Bait Tavoy District Tananthari Region on Burmese maps on September 13. Urban warfare in Yangon, a junta admin office was bombed last night in Sanchown Township, as were a police office this morning in North Okalapa and a location in Thakata Township. Civil Disobedience Movement CDM. 
In the junta's home base Naypyidaw, its administrative functions are being hampered by a COVID outbreak, and staff are ordered to work two days per week from home. The public health system collapsed after the February 2021 coup d'etat, and the only vaccines the junta received were Chinese.